Namaste and welcome, beautiful collective, to your weekly oracle reading. Checking in with the time frame of January 31st through February 7th. My name is Trey. This channel is Experiential Energy Anatomy, and I really enjoy offering these weekly oracle readings for the collective. These are collective general messages for all humans and all signs. Checking in with the archetypal energies manifesting currently on this little rock we call planet Earth. So there's a lot of interesting astrology in the first week of February. We have on the first a new moon in Aquarius, air sign. We also have Mercury finally ending its retrograde cycle and stationing direct on the fourth in the Earth sign of Capricorn. And we also have an interesting conjunction with Mars on the 6th, uh, conjuncting with the asteroid Chiron or Chiron in the fire sign of Aries. So it may be a challenging week, a time of reflection, a time of perhaps understanding um, certain themes regarding Oh, Spirit was drawing my awareness to um, this morning with Chiron or Sharon, you know, deep inner healing, self-examination, uh, understanding how sometimes when it comes to giving our precious time and energy to other people, do you have any illusions? Do you have any distortions when it comes to understanding other people's intentions? All right, so I'm done preaching now. We'll see what the cards have to say, okay? <laughs> Let's open up the sacred space to receive spirit, elevated ancestors, higher beings. You are invited into this universal collective Oracle reading. Spirit, we propose with humility and divine presence. A little query today for all humans and all signs and all placements. How are the archetypal energies manifesting and grounding down in the week of January 31st through February 7th? Spirit, Please help us be a pure and accurate channel today. Namaskar, namaste, ahe. Okay. Let's dive deep and see what do the cards have to say. So the first oracle message we'll be pulling from... Uh, <coughs> The Mother Gaia Oracle deck by Tony Carmine Salerno. A beautifully illustrated deck. We'll see Spirit first. What um, is the message from Mother Earth, from Mother Gaia this week to the collective? What is the message from Mother Gaia and all her faithful servants to humans? This week, what is the oracle message that Mother Gaia needs to speak? Okay, we got here one, two, three. We got here first the search, number six, feeling lost, confused, lonely. Well, this makes perfect sense to me. Um, you know, given all these astrological transits in the first week, I think a lot of people in the collective, you know, may be searching for their purpose or maybe searching for hope right now, given this great shift that Mother Earth is going through. Um, we also have here the hidden path in the reverse, okay? The marriage of spirit and matter, number 14. So I'm feeling here... Mm. that in the reverse that if you have devoted yourself to the hidden path if you have 
again, devoted your vessel to the marriage between spirit and matter. And you are feeling like you are um, really not understanding where this path is leading you. You may be asking certain questions to your guides at this time. And I'm sensing here uh, for certain that in the reverse, the hidden path is speaking to me about not hiding right now. I feel like um, given this new moon in Aquarius, Aquarius energy, Okay, I'm definitely sensing that this is a time to, if you feel like you are um, spiritually gifted, if you feel like your sole purpose, your soul's work is to help the collective in any way, I'm sensing that now is not the time to um, hide any of your magical gifts. Now is the time to share those gifts, um, especially in order to, I'm sensing, mm, Work with the Chiron or Sharon energy in Aries. Very fiery energy again. And this fire and air, there's a lot of fire and air this week, which are both the masculine uh, elements, okay? So I'm just sensing here um, for certain that this week, really, people need to be mindful. How are you managing your masculine energy, okay? What does that mean to you? And how can you channel perhaps that masculine energy into a, a new trajectory on your path that way you no longer feel lost or confused but you feel confidence about where you're heading okay i'm definitely sensing here with the third message as well lord ganesh okay in the hindu pantheon the energy the deity governing uh the divine hidden wisdom, also the remover of obstacles, the deity of protection, the deity also of Muladhara chakra, the root chakra, grounding down. So you perhaps, I'm sensing for certain here, need to, again, if you're feeling lost, if you're feeling confused, if you're feeling hopeless given the circumstances on planet Earth at this present point in space and time, if you feel like you don't know not only where you're going, but you have no idea uh, how the pieces will fall, how the buildings will crumble in society, given, again, this great shift that Mother Earth is going through, this purging, this cleansing, okay? It's very um, difficult, again, to navigate any type of massive earth changes um, and understanding the true narrative, the, the again, the hidden path. And I'm sensing here with Ganesh, again, you can cultivate this energy in your space if you are in need of guidance this week by playing certain Ganesh mantras, by invoking this energy. So very, very, very beautiful mantras. There are many Ganesh mantras, such as Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha, Jaya 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 Ganesha, Jaya Ganesha, Jaya Ganesha Mahima, Jaya Ganesha, Jaya Ganesha, Jaya Ganesha Rakshama. So many beautiful mantras, sound technology that you can use to not only invoke protection and guidance, but these will remove any energetic obstacles that have embedded themselves um, and your energetic field blocking your path forward. Um, spirit, is there any final tube of information regarding this message from Mother Earth to the collective? Spirit is asking the question, what does it mean to be um, divinely grounded? To you. I'm sensing here for certain um, the marriage of spirit and matter, the marriage between Keter and Malkuf, the marriage between Shiva Shakti. Okay, this is about I'm sensing for certain again with Ganesh ruling Muladhara root chakra. 
Given all the masculine fire and air energy, this could be about in order to balance out that energy, really grounding down and connecting with the earth element, the feminine principle, Shakti energy this week in order to balance it out. I'm definitely sensing here with this card, the hidden path. Okay, perhaps you may even need to um, earth barefoot and really focus on getting some sun, uh, soaking up some mm, tifareth energy. I'm definitely sensing here, um, again, the search that all human souls are embarking on in 2022, okay? That search may lead you down meandering, winding, pathways, new pathways. And remember, dear collective, there are many pathways to the crown. Now let's check in with what do the goddesses have to say regarding uh, uh, this week? Spirit, what goddess archetype requires the collective conscious awareness in the week of January 31st through February 7th. Spirit, which goddess archetype requires our conscious awareness in this present point of space and time? There she goes. Oh. <laughs> we got Kali. Om Kali Vanda Vidamahi Mahakopadi Mahi Tanno Badra Prachodaya. Ooh, Kali, Kali, Kali. Yes. Endings and begin. The old must be released so that the new can enter. Mm. Oof, getting goosebumps here. I've been feeling Kali energy for a hot minute the past couple weeks, and I'm taking pink that she has graced us with her divine presence here in this reading, especially after. Lord Ganesh popped out. Definitely feeling the energies of Mother India here. Whew. Yes, I just know that, again, this is just confirmation for me from spirit that people really are on the search, right? People may know that this is a huge, critical transition moment on the earth. There is an end of the old system the old ways of being and thinking, and that deep down inside, every single human being is receiving the call to destroy the old, to burn down the old that clearly has poisoned the earth, to, to, to transmute the toxicity of the way that we live. We all know this. We all know we have to do it, but very few are heeding the call because it's difficult, again, to travel down the hidden path. So this is about when you hear the call of Kali, deep down in your beating little heart, to heed her call because she will take retribution. Mother Earth will receive her due karmic rewards. This is about understanding that Mother Earth Pachamama will survive humanity. The question is, can we as a species survive um, Mother Earth during her purging and her cleansing, during her new beginning? Kali energy to me is this energy of, it's the feminine principle of Shiva, okay, about destruction in the Hindu worldview. 
and that destruction is a necessary process. It's a necessary point in any cycle in order for rebirth, in order for regeneration to happen. So Kali is the destroyer of ignorance, is the destroyer of greed, is the destroyer of anger. This energy is very similar, I'm sensing, to the aspect of Ganesh about the remover of obstacles. Okay? And Kali will remove any man in her way when it comes to the divine sacred work, when it comes to honoring the reciprocity of Mother Earth, when it comes to honoring the interconnectivity of nature, which is so delicate and necessary to understand as we move forward and shift. So any 3D, patriarchal, self-serving energies, you can trust in 2022 that this is the year of sweet, sweet karmic justice for Mother Earth, I'm feeling here. And Kali is an energy I'm definitely sensing as a theme here in 2022. Not just this week, but I'm sensing for all 2022. Okay? Endings and new beginnings. If you're feeling lost, if you're feeling confused, if you're feeling lonely, call upon Kali to destroy those lower vibrational energies within your vessel. And remember that we do not invoke Kali energy lightly, for she will come to you, she will heed the call, and she will do her work whether you're ready or not to receive. <laughs> that, is, that is all I know about Kali energy. Okay, let's close out this oracle reading now with our final message from the realm of crystals, the realm of energy, the realm of attraction, spirit. What is the final crystal oracle message that the collective has a need to know during this week? Okay, we got here, hmm, Chias, Chiastolite, past love ones, the root chakra, I was definitely feeling Muladhara chakra here with Ganesh, definitely feeling and this theme of grounding. What does it mean for you to be divinely grounded? What does it mean for you to earth? What does earthing mean to you? What does it mean to feel secure, safe, and self-contained? I'm definitely sensing here with this theme of past loved ones that given what's going on on planet Earth, again, it's a purging. It's a cleansing. Yes, it is sad when loved ones pass on to the other side, but we must understand that death is an illusion. There's only no things such as dying. There is only graduating to the next level, leveling up. And I'm sensing here that this is about understanding that if you can see the beauty, if you can find the beauty and the perfection of what is a seemingly destructive, negative, um, challenging period on planet Earth, then... That is how you will discover the hidden path. That is how you will be spiritually grounded. That is how you will, I'm sensing here, um, navigate these difficult, difficult times. Again, by understanding that, yes, we will lose many, many, many lives during this time. But rather than judging that as good or bad, we must understand that that is apparently what is necessary for Mother Earth to heal. 
and therefore that is beautiful because healing is necessary and beautiful. It is, of course, sad when we no longer feel the physical presence of a loved one by our side, but we must understand that we can always tune in to their presence even when they have passed on. Our loved ones never truly leave us. If you, again, have traveled down the hidden path, you are a person who is concerned with perhaps opening up your chakra. So I'm sensing if you, again, are really in need of grounding energy, you should definitely work with this crystal this week. I feel like that's a message for the collective in order to manifest optimal results in your story, in your conscious reality. But definitely feeling this is a powerful final message regarding this week but also, like I said, I just was feeling um, in general for the collective uh, the whole year, 2022. It's a huge year in the astrology. So buckle up, buttercups. Spear, is there any final intuitive information regarding this final oracle message for the collective? The act of passing, again, it's, it's an act of evolution, it's an act of evolving, and if we can look at the narrative being presented to humans regarding Pachamama's purging at this time, from this framework of evolution, we could understand that there is no, again, good or bad, really. There are only moments or catalysts for change that are going to move forward the evolution. Again, the healing, the cleansing of Mother Earth, which is so necessary. Therefore, if you are feeling really, really low about the passing of a loved one, or this theme of death is just surrounding you in the news, To understand somehow, some way, that that is beautiful. And can you see the beauty in the destruction? Kali energy. Wow. Powerful messages this week. Thank you, Spirit, and thank you so much. If you tuned in all the way to the end of this oracle, reading. I hope this reading resonates with you. And if it does resonate with you, every single comment, like, share, subscribe, and donation to this channel is truly appreciated from the bottom of my heart chakra to yours in order to grow this channel organically, get these messages out to more people who have a need to know, and continue doing the collective investigative work. And remember, this was a collective reading. This was not a personal reading. If you are interested in connecting with me, to check in with your individual soul contract and birth chart, my information is in the description box below, as well as some PS notes for the deep divers regarding the astrology of February. And with all that being offered to the introverse, I hope, Collective, you have a beautiful high vibe first week of February. And remember, charge your crystals on the new moon.